my friends, MD Vegan. I make a nice breakfast with nectarines today and I make a little bit refined recipe with some more ingredients. And I have these nice glasses here. Again, every can, every, everything can be seen here. I make layers. First layer, of course, the nectarines. Here I have some nice nectarines here. See? Three or four nectarines. I cut them in small pieces. They are so delicious. I found some nice nectarines in the health food shop. And um, I take always take them home. Um, when they are not so ripe, they're a little bit firm. And I sit there, sit them on my my shelves and until they get softer and softer. And at a certain point, they are so sweet. This special sweet sour flavor of the nectarines I love so much that I can eat them. And that's another case. And now I can make a nice recipe. So here nectarines, maybe some less. Because I would have put some else, something else in there, a filling with um, bananas. So I put that for a, a side for a while. Nectarines are now in the glass. Now the second layer will be bananas blended with nectarines and ginger. Here I have three bananas. You see, three bananas. I cut them always in small pieces, a little um, slices, in order to get the blender work. Yeah. And here nectarines, another two nectarines, or yeah, I guess two, and to get a little bit more flavor in the bananas, nectarine flavor. And what's very nice nectarines I found is ginger, just a little bit ginger. There are so many other options you can put there into the nectarines, sometimes surprising even. I thought about rosemary, okay, the fresh rosemary, rosemary in the garden, they come a little bit later in summer. I might use that too, but now it's nectarines with ginger, bananas too. in them and make some silk and creamy and now with the nectarine it's a special flavor I'll try it first time first time I tried I guess mmm mmm wonderful the nectarine flavor is there of course refined with a half the fire of the of the ginger and the banana cream as a background so I put that now on top of my nectarines here in the glass here See some nice nectarines in there, and this second layer of the banana cream, nectarine cream. See now, uh, will uh, flow a little bit into the nectarines. That's nice, but that's good enough. I don't, I don't need to to bring it all down to the bottom to mix it. I don't need to do that. I guess that's okay. Um, but the third layer will be a crunch, a crunch and make the breakfast a little bit more durable. And I have some nuts and seeds here and berries even. You won't believe this is a berry. Did you know that? That's an almond. Almond are botanically uh, berries. Uh, um, where there's strawberries are nuts or seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story, but it's true. So I have some almonds here and some walnuts. The walnuts, I uh, chopped them up a little bit. I combined the almonds and the walnuts and some buckwheaties. How to make buckwheaties, you can watch in a video here. Buckwheat is a wonderful, yeah, not, not really cereal, but it's a kind of cereal, um, you could call it. Not really, yeah. Uh, it is uh, soaked and then it um, 
grows some nice little uh, tails here and I dry it. And then you have these buckwheaties. They are wonderful, crunchy, fresh, and if you soak them a little bit, like in the cream for example, they get really nice and crunchy again with the freshness from, the, from, from nature, very nice. So I put the buckwheaties all together with my nuts and here, and the almonds and the walnuts. I mix a little bit, and this is my top layer to adding the crunch. Is that a nice breakfast? I'll show you what, what it looks like in a moment. I just put here the top layer. I'm looking forward to it. And then there's also, I mean, I enjoy myself now for myself. I can also serve that to friends. It's a wonderful dessert. I guess, or maybe a, yeah, for me it's a breakfast now. It could be also a dessert. You see, that was looks like. Isn't that nice? Everything is there we need. Yeah. So that's it. So that's so easy. Yeah, when the spring comes and the, the summer comes, I feel so inspired to use all these wonderful fruit again. Yeah. So I, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, thumbs up. And maybe even subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.